Picking up the pieces. Nearly everything I drop in my tiny abode shatters. A bathing suit's thick pink strap holder cracked in half when it hit the wood floor. Thinking of an annoying friend, I dropped the lid to my Fortnum and Mason sugar jar. It served me 20 years outliving the friendship with the gift giver. Bent on celebrating every day, I drink from my late mother's crystal glasses while they last. Every few months, a long stem falls away from a thick chalice when it meets the hard granite counter. Never a clean break. During dusting, the lid of a valuable rose medallion candy jar slips from my hands. A clean break. Sweet. Inspired, I resolve to embrace joy when I dust, drink, think. Um, morning. A six-year fog is lifted. I see my late mother anew, talking and walking, driving to her local haunts, making my favorite meals when I visit. She's a Murray widow smiling and dancing to life, not aware of the abuse to come. Nasty illnesses breed schisms. Now I'm comfortably numb as a koala, no longer self-medicating to forget. Letting in memories entombed by trauma. No longer longing for domestic belonging. <laughs> and the last piece, this is called Full Moon Over Cans. Kangaroo dreams were shaking my sleep, so I took the muse down under. My verse needed a shot of nature and color. My head craved a new sense of place. Thoughts of tropical heat in early spring and music-filled nights made four flights bearable. Despite ugly rumor, the Great Barrier Reef breeze, residents in brilliant hues of green, orange, and blue circled our boat. Lone sea turtles surfed underwater. Carl, dancing and still, spoke to us. Far from shore, a whale waved to low. Near dusk, a flock of fruit bats flew low as we strolled from a Guinea's pub. A tropical mist coated the indigo night. Clouds fl floated below a black, tattooed moon, immersed in shrill silence. Cans like a calyx, growing thorns to keep us still. <laughs> <laughs>